Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So welcome to part two of Rando Nautica Creepy TikToks. If you haven't seen part one, I will have it linked in the description. And without further ado, let's just get straight into it because I've got so many to show you. It's actually unreal. Again, obviously I had a disclaimer in my first video. I'm not going to repeat the same disclaimer. So let's get into the video. So this is the first one. So we decided to play Rando Nautica and it took us to this random detention center. It's just kind of a dead end back here and immediately it rerouted us and she got a text from a random ass number that said, are you real? And we decided to come back to check it out and it just says real. Pee pee poo poo. Why are people messing with this shit? There's probably fucking serial killers chilling, waiting, and everyone's just like, haha, so funny. It's not funny if someone dies, okay? It's not funny. I, I don't like it. So then there's this one. What? Why is that still on TikTok? Why is that still on TikTok? There is so much blood. Please tell me that you guys could see all the blood. That looks like a crime scene. I don't like it. I'm getting really bad vibes. Why? Why is that still on TikTok? Like literally the smallest things can get taken off TikTok. Innocent things. This is still on TikTok. What the fuck? Oh, so this is a two part series and I found this one interesting. It's kind of creepy. I have watched this one. It's not like fully creepy. It's kind of like a good omen. I don't know, you'll, you'll see. Okay, so for people who don't know, this is Randomortica. It's an app and it gives you locations to go to. It's like a fate thing. My friend told me about it and I thought nothing about it. So I downloaded it and I went tonight to my two locations. This is where it gets weird. So I went to the first location and nothing. I went to the second one because I was like, I feel like I have to go there. And like... So it was seven minutes away from me. So obviously this is what the app looks like and it gives you like, where do you want to go? So I went and the woman, like it gave me a specific house. She came out of the house and smiled at me and was staring at me, it was weird. I was gonna leave and my message to the app wasn't sending. It kept saying like here, it was like failed to send, try again. So I stayed for an extra five minutes. Like I just, I stayed, I felt like I had to stay. After I left, a police car drove past me and I made a joke about it to her cause we were on call. Uh, and I carried on driving the way I would home and like for part two. All right, so we're gonna watch part two now. Part two. So we already know I tried to send the report, it didn't work. We already know I saw a police car and joked about it. Because the report didn't send, I didn't leave for an extra five minutes. I started noticing that the police car was actually going towards my house. And I was driving my normal way home, like I didn't go out of my way to follow the police car or anything like that. And the road that I came down to get there, the road I was going to go back up, had been blocked off by an ambulance and three police cars. This was me after I pulled over in a safe location and had realised what I had just seen. I propped my phone up to show my friend what I was seeing. That's when we realised that if I had left my location five minutes earlier, that would have been me. I watched them put the guy in the ambulance. I drove around to the top of the street to see if I could see what was going on and there had been a car accident, a big car accident. I'm glad she made me wait five minutes. Like if you want to hear more on this. What the fuck? That's kind of like a nice one. It's kind of creepy because obviously someone may have died or got injured and stuff, which is horrible. But it's a good omen in the sense that if she had gone earlier, then something bad could have happened to her, like she said. And the app kind of told her to stay there by saying, no, the message hasn't gone through. I don't really know how Rana Nautica works because I don't use it, but I'm guessing you send it a message when you finished at the location and it wasn't sending. So I guess that's kind of like a good omen in a way. I went rando nodding in the woods. One of my friends was worried. So I brought along a tea and texted her. I was a little creeped out. Please don't take me to something creepy. Please don't take me to something creepy. I got to the location. I hiked down a huge ravine to get to a swamp that I didn't even know existed. And it was beautiful. Things got weird when I found this rock and turned it over. And it said, say happy. Before I left for this rando knot, I texted my friend, happy mugs attract happy things. What the fuck? On another note, that mug is actually really nice. 
but what the fuck? Like, I don't even know if that's happy or creepy. It's just weird. Like, that is just genuinely strange and weird. Oh, I don't like it. Like, I'm. is anybody else watching this video right now getting, like, weird tinglys here? Because I really just feel weird. I don't like it. I know I keep saying I don't like it, but I just don't. I feel like I'm struggling to breathe. Oh my gosh, okay. This one, I watched some of it. It's so creepy and just bear with it because at the start it's kind of not creepy but wait until the second part like part two it just it's weird so my friends and i are about to go random nodding and i see a lot of people saying that they find creepy shit on here so i figured i'd record it to see what actually happens uh, <laughs> we're going down this bridge so we're walking on a bridge right now we've been here before but i don't know why it brought us here so we haven't found anything creepy or anything but there's some Yo, nice views. Guys, come here. What the blood. fuck is that? It seems pretty fresh. Is that what the? Is it blood? I think that's fucking. Oh. No, that could be. No, that could be pain. Hold up, is that a trail? Wait, wait, look. So there's like a blood trail. So we're following it right now. So the blood leads over here, and it keeps going down that right, so matthew's gonna go down Wait, there's more okay i'm running out of time like in comment for part two can i just i need to say something right now okay before we get into part two why why would you follow it like you know in scary movies when people go and check things out and then they die like why what why i just i wouldn't i'd have ran off no right let's go into part two so matthew's about to climb down there and i'm too scared to go down there so i'm gonna hand him my phone so <sighs> Fucking smells so bad down here. Hey, be safe. Yeah, yeah. Is there still blood? Yeah, there's a thick trail. Like, look at this shit. Holy shit. That's kind of sus. Fuck. Alright, I'm going, guys. What the fuck? Hello? What? Nah, fuck no, nah, 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 yo, 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 yo. Oh, I don't like it. I read some of the comments, right? And I know it could have been someone that needed help, right? What if it was someone that needed help and they've just ran off? But like, tell me if you're in that situation, whether you would go towards that or run off. I would have just called the police or something after I left, just so in case if it was somebody that needed help, they've got help. But, bro, please tell me you heard the woman go in, help me, please. Oh, gosh. No. No. Just don't like it. I don't. I'm sorry. I hate it. So the other day, me and a bunch of friends decided to go explore a park that was located nearby all of our houses. And in the creepy back area, we found a lot of coffins. And we got curious and opened one, and there were spikes inside and it reminded me of one of those medieval iron maidens and then we found this table nearby it looked like one of those tables that you like tie people to and uh torture them so uh mad sketch maybe if you blow this up we'll come back at night why would you come back at night just don't don't go back i don't know if you guys can see but i'm literally shaking my leg right now because i'm so fucking nervous and anxious watching these videos it's creeping me out this could be creepy but also i feel like it could be props you know like from movie sets or something maybe a project and people have just got rid of them but then again it could also be like the torture stuff and i just don't like it why is there spikes in a coffin i just don't like it i hate it we decided to use a randonautica app and it brought us to this location it's a really small cemetery and we think we see something hanging from the tree and there's something over here what the fuck is that what the fuck it's an old cemetery there's only like nine graves and so we were right there was something in the tree um what the fuck? What the fuck is that? That's the Bible. What the fuck is that? I'm laughing because I thought it was like a like an animal or something at first and I was shitting myself and I just thought, why is there an animal in the tree? But it was a baby doll, but I don't why is there baby dolls in a cemetery that's got like two graves? Ugh, no. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. Right, what is this one? I don't know exactly what none of this stuff is here, but I see a trail right now, so we're gonna follow it and see where it takes us. Should I go down this path here? 
Or should I go to, I don't know if I should. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What is that? Holy crap. I don't know if I should leave or not. Should we follow? Where is he going to? Where is he going? Where is he going? Look at this. Oh, shit. I think that was a jump scare one. My heart literally came out my ass. Oh my god, my heart came out my ass. Jeez, I saw it at the beginning dip behind the tree. I don't know if you guys saw it dip behind the tree. I don't like it. <laughs> I think that was a jump scare one though, but oh no, thank you. All right, and then the last one we've got is kind of like a two-part series, so I'll show you it. Bro, we found fucking doing random nautica shit, and we found this. Oh. My god. Holy shit. What the fuck? Dude, we're in the middle of nowhere. Lift it up oh, all the way. Oh, fuck. Uh, nah, it's fine. Okay. We've got to get like a stick. Oh, like, here, hold it up. Kind of <laughs> oh shit, there's actually a stick. Here, put it down. It's gonna hold. Like a... Dude. Oh. Do we really want to do this? Where is he even... Oh, fucking turns, dude. Oh, oh my god. Drop a like. And, uh, part two coming soon. Before we get into part two, I just want to say this is weird because I obviously have those in America by houses to get to the basement and stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't live in America, but I've seen it on TV and stuff. And that's literally just in the middle of the woods. Like, there's no house. There's nothing there. There's just that. All right, yeah. we're going. What the fuck was that? Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. And make sure it doesn't close on us. Ooh, that... Got it. Be careful. That's actually... Yeah, you got it. Yeah. This is weird. It's cold as shit. Oh my gosh, it's cold. It's disgusting in here. Watch out, there's so many black widows in here. What's behind the corner? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, there's so much mold. Oh, that time actually scared me. Come here. Oh. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, I think this is it. Is there anything in there? Oh, thank God. There's so much mold, let's get out of here. They were like, thank god. Bro, you're literally, it's a random ass fucking bunker thing in the middle of the wood. It looks like where you would be kidnapped and held in. And you're saying, thank god. Uh, no, I don't like that. That looks awful. And also they said there was black widows in there. Like, there's like poisonous spiders in there. Why? Why do people put themselves in these positions? I don't. I don't like it. I don't understand. I hate it. Right, that's it for today's video. Next week, I think I'm going to react to either scary story times from TikTok tiktokers or i'm gonna react to um like creepy tiktoks i don't know which one yet i might film it now which i don't know if you will hate that because i'll look the same in every single video but i might film it now i hope you guys like this video if you did please remember to smash a massive thumbs up remember to subscribe and also comment ideas of stuff you want me to react to from tiktok where and it's creepy like specific things or you can follow me on instagram and send me specific creepy videos because i would really love to watch some ones that you guys recommend and until next time i will see you guys soon peace